Hello everyone and good evening. This is Nick, N1NRW, uh, here to just show you everyone a quick little video on um, getting D-Star set up for the ICOM IC705 as well as the ID5100. Um, found something kind of frustrating the other day that I saw a lot of people had quite a few questions on. I know there's a couple of videos about getting it set up and as you'll realize in this video it actually doesn't affect everyone. Now it's uh, kind of an interesting way how it works and you'll, you'll realize this in a minute. So obviously at this point you have an idea of what D-Star is, what D-Star does, and you have an idea of how to get it, the basics set up. So let's walk through the parts of this here. So first off, not in D-Star mode. Um, biggest, biggest, you know, point right there. So next thing we have to go do, we go to menu, go to page two on this radio here on the 705 then we're going to go to dv memory now repeater list so now we scroll through them obviously you're going to have quite a bit of them on here if it's default kind of like mine is uh, then you get down to um your blank groups so what i chose to go do on my 705 here was i added a group local simple as just you know holding it down edit name so we go in here now for the sake of the video i erased my old one so this is blank so all we do we hold down this, we hit add, and then we're given our menu of the different lists. So let's walk through it. So first type here, DV repeater. We want that set as that. Next, uh, name, name it anything you like. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just using my hotspot and I'm assuming this is why you're watching this video. So let's just do hotspot. All right. Sub name, just leave it blank. You can name it if you want, it's entirely up to you. Call sign, now this, this ladies and gentlemen, is the most important part. With D-Star, you have to have eight characters in this call sign. You'll see what I mean in just a second here. Obviously, this doesn't apply for everyone. If you have a one by three like I have, um, a one by two, this is going to apply to you. If you have a two by three, maybe not so much. You'll see what I mean in a second here. So under call sign, put my call sign N one N R W. Now, normally we would just do space B because that's what the D star needs to read here. However, this is not eight characters. If we go back here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're only at seven. So now if we go over and in between the space, add a separate space. Now we're at, follow the cursor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're at eight characters. Now this is very, very important that you get this part right. So then we click enter. And we go down, now our gateway. Notice it kept the same spacing here, and now it's over to G, which is correct. Group name is local for the sake of this video. Um, use from, another very important thing. Check it to yes, otherwise you will not be able to select this in your DV menu as a repeater you're gonna use. Now frequency, put in your frequency or your hotspot. Mine's 438.800. Enter. Duplex. I don't have a duplex on this one. It is off. Now, some radios, like the 5100, very important. When you go to put this in, you actually would put in that you have a zero offset, and you can change it to positive or negative, doesn't matter, but you would put it as zero. Otherwise, you're going to have the issue that everyone else has, where it says skip. Another very big issue. If it detects this as a simplex node, it will not allow it to show up in your DV memories. So if we keep going down here, position, I don't mind mine coming out, we'll do exact, use the GPS in it, and then keep going down, add right. Yes. See how here it says skip? This is actually what I was just talking about. If we go back in and edit this, this is where we need to put in the duplexer being negative. So we can put this in, negative, change this to zero. Watch this happen, ready? Go down, overwrite now, as we already wrote it. Notice, 
no more skip. This is the issue a lot of people seem to have. So we go back now. We go all the way back out. Right now we're on 80 meters. We switch it over to D-star mode. Now, remember what I was saying before for the from section. If we tap on from, now we can go to repeater list and scroll down to your list. Local. There it is. There's your hotspot. Now you can effectively transmit on there and it will actually work for you. And again, it needs to be adjusted for your call sign to have eight characters. That is the biggest key right there. If it has eight, it'll work. If not, it will not. Speak from experience. I spent about three hours trying to figure this out the other night. And I know a lot of others, people are frustrated about this issue. It works on the 5100, uh, the 705, um, 7300, a whole bunch of, and pretty much any of these newer style radios with this interface on it with the touchscreen, this is how it all works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Um, again, thanks for visiting the channel and uh, take care. Seven threes.